Hey guys, it's Jim. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it and hope you're doing well today. Um, I've got something new I'm starting here on YouTube and this is called a Luminar Quick Tip. Short to the point and uh, just to help you with one little thing because there's a lot of little things I do in Luminar and I get questions about them from time to time and I thought it'd be easier just to record little short videos and so these are quick tips. Let's go ahead and get started. This first one is about the sort of light pollution or some of the odd colors that you end up with a night sky, especially when shooting in a city. So I've got this photo I took in London and I was editing that and I uh, realized that that would make a uh, sort of a good subject because my final result looks like that. And so let's walk through that real quick and let me show you what I did. Now I'm in Luminar, I've got five filters. I've got Accent AI and I gotta look at my notes here. So I'm gonna move this along as I touch on them. I've got saturation of vibrance. I'm not doing a lot there, but just enough to give it a little oomph. Um, it's a, this is shot, um, that's kind of, I think that's called the walkie talkie, that building that's kind of the center of the photo, but I just like night skies and uh, reflected lights, like all this stuff here in the River Thames uh, that goes through central London. So I've also got the tone filter and I'm gonna add contrast. And you can see that really does a great job of uh, sort of accentuating uh, the colors and making them really pop. However, I don't really like the colors, and so that's what we're gonna fix here in just a second. I've got adjustable gradient, and all I'm gonna do here is just bump up the, the exposure value at the bottom of the photo because it was just too dark for my liking. And at the same time, I'm gonna add a slight bit of contrast just because I like the look. So I think we've already come a pretty good ways. There's the original, and there's the current state. Now, I haven't touched uh, any of the colors yet. I haven't swapped any of them around or, or shifted them. Uh, all I did is bump them up a little bit with saturation and vibrance, but the deal is when you adjust contrast, it makes a huge impact on color and how it's perceived. So again, went from that kind of flat, kind of light pollution-y looking to that, but that's where we get to the real fun, and that's the color balance filter. I talk about this filter a lot. You're probably sick of hearing about it, but it's so good and it's so awesome. And so let me show you what I'm gonna do. For me, what I like with night skies is to have blue in them. And so that's what I'm gonna do because there's a lot of yellow and kind of reddish orange in this photo. And while I love that color, I like skies and water to be more in the blue realm. So I'm in the shadows portion of color balance because there's a lot of shadow in the photo. And what I'm gonna do is on the cyan red, I'm just gonna go to the left and pick up more of that cyan. And you can see that's already making a big difference. I'm gonna skip over magenta green, and on yellow blue, I'm gonna to go towards the blue to the right. So something about like that. And boom, I mean, wow, what a difference that makes, right? So before and after just that filter. I'm gonna do a similar thing on the midtones though, because there are you know, a fair amount of midtones. The sky's you know, not exactly dark, so I'm gonna do a similar thing, just not as much uh, with the, with the midtones. And so something about like that, and let me show you the overall for color balance went from that to that and went from the beginning of the photo unedited to that in just a couple of minutes. If I wasn't yapping, I could run through these filters in you know, two or three minutes. And so that's a quick tip. Use color balance. Now I make my other adjustments first, especially the contrast and the lighting adjustments because um, especially contrast, it does impact how color is perceived. So I wanna do that stuff before I shift colors, but then the meat of it in terms of the color shifting is really in the color balance filter. Get to know that filter. I've got videos on it if you wanna check them out. And that's a quick tip on managing light pollution and messing around with the color of the skies in cities at night because they give up that kind of, or they give off that kind of orangey yellow glow. And if you like it, that's great. If that's your thing, that's cool. It's just not mine. I like the blue. I think it looks better. And there's enough orange and yellow here in the uh, center of the photo coming off of the building lights to sort of counterbalance that blue. So I think it makes a nice color contrast. That's it. That's a quick tip on uh, light pollution and managing uh, the night lights in a city. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Like, leave a comment, and let me know what you think about it. And I'll see you next time, my friends. And adios.